Welcome to a new video. You are probably wondering what happened to me over the past few months or rather the entire 2021 year. I was busy working as civil servant in real life and had some busy schedules with my other projects and therefore couldn't find the time I needed to work on new videos. Along the way I also lost the motivation sadly but now I'm back and will upload more regularly videos now for you. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video as we will uncover the alter ego complex story. I will divide today's video into several sections, each link with a timestamp so that you can skip the parts which aren't interesting for you and go straight for what you were looking out for. But I would appreciate it if you stay and watch the entire video. Now to start things off, Alter Ego Complex is an adventure story based game made from the Caramel Column Incorporation, who were also responsible for the game Alter Ego which got released almost two years prior to Alter Ego Complex. It is interesting to note that this company also made two other mobile games, which I sadly can't understand and translate as this game is only available in Japanese. If you can read and understand Japanese, let me know in the comments what, what the meaning of the titles of those games are. I would appreciate that. You can download the Alter Ego Complex game on the Google Play Store. Link will be in the description. But I'm not sure whether you have to pay for it or not because it has been a long time for me since I downloaded it. It is definitely beneficial if you've played uh, Alter Ego already before entering Alter Ego Complex for all the needed context and story you should be aware of. Now on to the story and mechanics. The story follows Ace, a rather unique girl with an interesting backstory. If you want to know more about it, check this video, where I already explained the major plot points of the Alter Ego series. Ease is again in the library in Alter Ego Complex, reading books and philosophing about them and sometimes questions the intentions of the characters involved or simply comments them once she's done reading it. The art style stayed true to itself as from the previous game Alter Ego and she has the same text box like lines from that game as well, but unlike in Alter Ego, you don't gain anything when clicking on them. This installment, however, added mini games into it, which were bluntly speaking a pain to play. The mechanics were slippery and sometimes made me rage a lot, as you can see on that video. <laughs> At least Ace is nicely dressed according to the themes of each set mini games, so therefore it makes sense. As you play more and more, you will encounter eventually cutscenes where Ace is asleep, having dreams with the Wanderer about various scenarios such as a dream about shopping, or being a vampire, having a cat, etc. Once you've finished all minigames and read through all the books, you unlock the hidden section of the game, where you simply have to press on a blue butterfly that will lead you to a special picture book named Alter Ego. You will get asked several times whether you are sure or not to read that book, as this will reveal the origins of who Ace really is and her true dreams. Ego Rex, yeah, the stone-faced dude from Alter Ego as you can see here, created the library initially to guide Ace, but she thought that she was just being a harlequin and puppet. Ace didn't know herself back then. Uh, but upon completing the game in Alter Ego, she experienced her true essence and personality, aka identity. Her dreams in Alter Ego Complex help her cope with everything she has been dealing with in her life and she eagerly awaits the return of the Wanderer, with whom she fell in love with eventually during Alter Ego. Now on to the interpretation of Alter Ego Complex. Ace has been left alone for quite some time after the Wanderer visitor visited her in the library, so she decided to take a nap and dream about all the various worlds and scenarios she wished to be true or she just recently read. Sadly however, those are all just dreams as she realizes whenever she wakes up. 
Sometimes being really moody and ripping apart some sheets of paper are shown, her, are shown here on her table. Nonetheless, she keeps continuing reading a sort of only resort she has in my opinion to cope with her situation. Obviously she could end everything as mentioned in the bad ending of Alter Ego but what is Ace's true drive in life? Is it simply meeting the Wanderer again or being freed from the shackles Igorex had bestowed on her ever since she was born and put into the library? Ace has been scared all her life to read her story as we can see towards the end of the Alter Ego complex story because she struggled a lot with herself, her purpose and her obligations. In a twisted way, Ego Rex was her father figure, even though she, he did nothing good to her, just made her li live a life as sh uh, shut in. Until she met the Wanderer, her life had been monotonous, reading books, managing the library, sleep and repeat over and over again. But after the Wanderer showed up, he engulfed her with hope and dreams she could have never thought of could be possible. But despite all that, she decided to stay in the library and wait for his return, every single time. I believe unless a major event happened such, such as her mental breakdown and the bad ending of Alter Ego, to be honest, I would have gone insane there a long time ago if I, would be, if I had been there. She would stay in her library forever. Maybe she is a spirit that can only exist within the library or her physical body never existed to begin with when Agorex found her in the Holes of the Darkness? That raises the question, is the Wanderer real and if so, how does he manage to travel in and out of the uh, library without problems? Questions over questions, which we have to find out ourselves. But to be fair, this game was never intended to have a deep plot as it was purposely made as a self-discovering game, not more, not less. I wish though that they would add an extra chapter, either an Alter Ego or Alter Ego Complex, where they would explain the whole world of the Alter Ego series and how Ego Rex or Ace could create it, but that will probably stay a mysterious forever. Now on to the conclusion of Alter Ego Complex. I do believe that the Alter Ego Complex game managed to fulfill its purpose, a game for everyone who missed Ace and just wanted to experience more stories and discover more of her underlying secrets and regrets and wishes in life. Caramel's Column managed to create a beautiful series with a really interesting main character, not you, the Wanderer, but Ace, in a simplistic but yet fascinating world with on-point music to fill in the atmosphere in the game and a unique art style, which you don't see very often in such games. I hope you will check on Ace in the future from time to time and just accompany her in her library. Or just buy her a set of eyeglasses like me. <laughs> no puns intended. I hope you enjoyed th this video. This is my very first series video for a very long time and if you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to not miss any videos in the future. As I try to maintain this video quality while bringing in more videos to come in the future. Thanks for watching and have a pleasant day.